It's time to make a bridge! Please click down here in the corner and you're going to locate Bridge Designer. So open that up and we're going to create a new bridge design. And we'll click Next here. We do not have a local contest, contest information. So at this point you're going to have to make a choice. We're either going to choose the um, 20 meter high. It gives us a very specific length here with standard abutments or you were going to choose 24 with arch abutments. Those are the same length. So let me show you the difference between those two. This is a standard abutment right here. It is flat. And the arch abutments allows you to build underneath the decking like that. So those are your two options. So you need to make that choice. Again, you'll either do a 24 meter arch abutment or a 20 meter standard abutment. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll pick that one. And the last thing you need to change is we're going to do high strength concrete. It just allows for a stronger deck. Usually that's not the thing that is breaking for us. So we're going to, it'll give us a better simulation. We'll leave it as a standard two lane traffic. Then we click finish. So now you get to create your bridge design. So if we click on the tools right here, these are the joints. We can place these at whatever position that we want. And then we can do the um, members right here and connect these. If you want to connect a whole bunch in a straight line, you can connect them that way. So this will allow you to build your bridge. You need to keep the defaults as carbon steel, solid bar 140 by 140, so make sure you keep those. Uh, once you have a design that you like, here's one that I've created. Um, it's a double decker, and you can see that mine goes all the way up to eight meters right here. If you choose the standard abutment, you're gonna be able to go as high as 12 meters. If you choose the arch abutment, you're gonna be able to go four meters below deck and eight meters above. So it's still a total of 12 meters. Now that I have a bridge designed, I'm gonna test this. So if we click up here, this is the run load test animation, and it shows my design. It also drives a fully loaded truck onto it. You can see it holds up because I'm amazing. And what I wanna show you here is that red members are under compression. So they're being pushed together. Blue, and if you look at this here, it's got a slight blue hue and all of these in the bottom uh, very blue a deep blue down here in the bottom those are under tension so it's really important that you notice that because wood is stronger in one of those either compression or tension so you should google that you should look that up and you want to make sure that your longest members because they're going to be just weaker just because they're longer you want to make sure that those are in the strong um stress. So either in t tension or compression, you want those longer ones to be in whatever wood is strongest in. So just keep that in mind. So now if we go back to our um, data here, now that we've run that, we have some results. So I'm going to sort this and I click it twice and that kind of allows us to sort from high to low. So I have a 0 0.71 and under tension I have 0 0.39. So I have greater compression forces. So if I click that, it shows me my greatest compression force right here in the middle, not surprisingly, and remember 34 is the other one. They're the same. So if I click this one, it shows me what member that is. So what I would probably want to do is try to refine this to make less force here. So if I take this and I move it over and shrink that one up, now I bet those are going to have less force applied to them. So I really didn't do anything but move. Now I have a 0.86. Well, this one is quite a bit more. So I could move that and so on. So that shows you you can kind of adjust these things. And... Um, now my highest is 0.69, so I've actually improved my bridge without really adding any additional cost. There might have been a slight change. That's really important because as you add members, if I add this one here, you can see my cost goes up, which essentially means my weight goes up. So that may have made that part stronger, but it also made the entire bridge heavier. Um, so you, what your goal is going to be is to try to make this these values as small as possible. Your bridge is only as strong as your weakest member. Right now that, that's 0.69. So your grade is going to be the product of the cost times the weakest member. So you want this to be as small as possible and the cost to be as small as possible. Um, another last kind of refinement that you can make is right now I'm moving these on the one meter scale. I can change that to a half meter so it moves smaller amounts and even to the quarter meter. So if I move that one there and I want this to, to mirror it, I just see those blue lines, those guidelines. And right now that blue line goes straight down to four right there. So this one goes, let's see where that one is. That one goes straight down, it's a little harder to see, to right now about 36. So you can kind of play around with it to get them so that they're even. This is giving me a lot more of an arch. So if you're looking for an arch, you can use these refined tools to help you get it into more of that arch type shape. 
So we run that one more time. It looks like that kind of made things a little bit worse because that one's too long. So I can continue to adjust this. So your goal is going to be able to make the most efficient bridge possible using cost and your weakest member. So make sure you're constantly sorting these uh, by compression and tension so you can point out your weakest member and you can continue to refine it.